our presiding offices. Here are present the principal officers of the 10th Assembly, most distinguished colleagues. Truly, it is not a happy day. Truly, it is difficult to make a comment after hearing series of beautiful comments coming from those we interacted with him, people who worked with him, people who experienced his impact. I suffice that to say that we have gathered today not to celebrate a man with the biggest amount of money in his bank account. We gather today not to celebrate a man who has the biggest farm, who has the biggest car. We come to celebrate a man of courage, a man who had no templates strengthening the fulcrum of democracy, but braved it to set a roadmap for the new dispensation of our democracy. We've gathered today to celebrate a man, a hero of transparency, a hero of accountability, a hero who stood for the advancement of our democracy. It is not easy to stand before a former general, look him in the eye and say no to him. Not because of lack of respect to the general, the, the, the sitting president, but because of the yearning of the masses. Celebrate a man who did not stand for the elite, a representative who stood for the masses. Mr. Speaker, honorable colleagues, true representation is that representation that aligns with the wishes, the desires, and the hunger, the pain of those that we represent. Not our pockets, but the people. What is democracy without the people? There is a, an awakening call that resonates and sounds from the death of this great man. He fought for a legacy. And I'm happy 25 years later, while he was alive, some of us who believe in what we saw in him got the opportunity to be in the House of Representatives. 1999, I just left university in 1998. And if I had people that I admired then, because I was with Amnesty International, we were some of those student union governments who were fighting for democracy to come. If there were men that we admired, if there were men that inspired us, the man we celebrate today happened to be one of them. He lived. He may not have had an encounter with me personally, but the principles and the philosophies and the ideologies that he believed in, putting the people first, influenced some of the work that we did for Ben, the federal constituency where I represent Mr. Speaker. If you are in doubt, you go and verify. No longer do we celebrate just wealth. We celebrate a man who believes that democracy is the best option. And this is a message to those who are thinking of other options. There is no option better than democracy. Let the labors of our heroes pass, which has happened to be one of them that has joined the queue. May it not be in vain. Let's stand for democracy. Let's stand for our people. And I know that, Mr. Speaker, I want to thank you. You've made so many sacrifices. You have led us to make sacrifices 
because you believe in what this man believed in. And I want to thank you from the depth of my heart, both as principal officers and these men who are here, who are, we are also inspired by the great Naba. You've caused us to show concern in his legacy. And I want to thank Nana, the lady there. If you may stand up, Nana. Nana walked. Mr. Speaker, Nana walked with this great man. I saw her in tears when she rushed to us. He must have been a good man for his staff to cry the way she cried, looking for how we can help the family. He must have been a good man. He must have been a good man. He must have been a good man for the entire great man of the National Assembly, House of Red. Without so much effort from you and myself during Committee of the Whole to embrace the plea for support, I thank you, Honorable Colleague. I thank you. He must have been a good man for his deputy, my own brother, who is here, to stand up years after they have worked together to say, this man was a good man. Your Excellency, you are alive. And I'm your deputy, and I want to say you are a good man. <laughs> your Excellency, I will not wait until when we meet in heaven. We have a long way to go. You are a good man. Your Excellency, he must have been a good man for the array of these great minds that I respect so much. Former deputy speakers, former speakers to be here. Senators. My own brother, I've seen him, Senator Mao, sitting quietly. They may not say a word, but their presence has spoken volume to Nigerians. That it is good to be a good man. It is good to leave a legacy. And this is a message to Nigerians. Search out for members of the House of Rep. Kabesi, Kabesi, please sit down. Let me end by saying, Mr. Trigger, that his relationship, life, is worthy of emulation. I heard them say that he related very well with the Senate, which you are doing. I heard them say that he related well with the House. I heard them say that he did not discriminate against religion or tribe. That was a good example, which all of us will carry on. And as we do that, I believe that we will live a particular building in this complex in the name of this great man. Mr. Speaker, I've had the assistance. A building here, you have, a, you, have, you have given a nod privately, and I'm sure Nigerians need to know that a building in this whole complex must be dedicated to the name of this great man who walked the path of democracy. Thank you, and may the Lord preserve his soul.